Hi, this video is going to cover solving measurement problems with algebra. So the learning goal for this video is to learn how to model certain problems involving measurement using algebraic expressions and equations. So we're going to be dealing with diagrams like this where we have a shape and let's say instead of having regular numbers as side lengths, we've got these polynomial expressions. So whoops, that's what's going to be on tap for today. So um, we're going to solve this problem. Okay, so the perimeter of the triangle here is 91 meters. So we're going to determine the lengths of each side. So um, in order to actually know what the side lengths are, we actually need to know the value of x. So let's write that down, the value of x. So if we knew what x was, we could replace each of these x's and simplify each expression and figure out what those lengths are. So that's the main idea here. We need to figure out what x is. So uh, in order to figure out this problem, we need to first model it using an equation. So um, the perimeter of this uh, triangle is 91. So remember, to find the perimeter of any shape, we just add up the three sides. So if we add up the three sides and make it equal to 91, we have ourselves an equation that models the problem. So in other words here, we're just going to add up the three sides. So I'm going to say x plus 4. Okay, so this expression, that's one side, plus uh, 2x minus 1 plus uh, 3x minus 2. All three of those sides should add up to 91. So um, we have an equation, and it's important to have an equation because we can't find out what x is without an equation. So here we have one that models the situation. Okay, that the three sides add up to 91. So now let's actually solve this equation. Um, so we can first get rid of the brackets um, by multiplying one into, into each of these brackets, right? So when you do that, we actually just end up dropping the brackets. Plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 91. All right, so let's just simplify this. So we have x, uh, let's... Um, sort out the like terms. So x plus 2x plus 3x and then we have plus 4 minus 1 minus 2 is equal to 91. Let's simplify the x's. So x plus 2x plus 3x is 6x. Uh, 4 take away 1 is 3. Take away 2 is 1. So that's 6x plus 1 is equal to 91. So now we have to solve this equation. Um, I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides first. So 6x is equal to 90. And then we divide both sides by 6. Um, and then the 6s will divide. So x is equal to, and then 90 divided by 6. Oh, it's too late in the evening to figure that out in my head. 15. All right, so now that we know what x is, we can now... Uh, answer the question. So we can figure out what each of these sides are, right? X is 15. So let's um, start with that side, X plus 4. Well, X is 15. So what is 15 plus 4? Well, 19. Um, let's look at the second side here, 3X minus 2. Well, that's just 3 times 15 minus 2. That's 45 minus 2, which is 43. And last but not least, we have the third side there of 2x minus 1. Well, x is 15, so let's replace x with 15. 2 times 15 is 30 minus 1, which is 29. And just to be safe, uh, we can add up the three sides, 19 plus 43 plus 29, and they all add up to 91. All right, so each of these, I believe, is uh, 19 meters, 43 meters, and 29 meters. Okay. So uh, let's just take a look at the success criteria. Okay, so we have to start with the end goal. So um, if we need to find the value of x, you have to have an equation that involves x so that you can solve for x. Look at the information that's given to you and see if it's helpful in creating an equation. Okay, so you have to create an equation here. You have to create an equation. Okay? And also don't forget to actually answer the question. 
Okay, so the question is usually not asking you what x is. You have to use x to solve the problem. All right, so um, let's try this question out. The side length of a square is given as 3x plus 4. If the total perimeter of the square is 76, determine the value of x. So um, just bef before you try this on your own, remember, you want to model okay, with an equation. So I want you to first... Okay, come up with an equation that models the situation of the perimeter equaling 76 and then you're going to solve that equation and then figure out in this example here just what value of x is. Okay, so pause the video, give it a shot and then when you're ready to um, look for a solution, uh, press play. Okay, so good luck. All right, let's first come up with an equation. Uh, to model the situation where the perimeter is 76 centimeters. So if we add up the four sides, okay, that should add up to 76 or should equal 76. Or in other words, if we um, have this side times 4, it should equal to 76. So that's one equation that you can do. You can do 4 times 3x plus 4. You could have done 3x plus 4 plus 3x plus 4. You know, you can do that four times. Okay, and then make it equal to 76. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, there's there's many ways of doing this question. I'm just doing one way. Um, and whatever you do, you'll end up with the answer anyway. So um, here we can uh, distribute the four. So it's four times that whole side, right? So four times three x is 12 x plus 16 is equal to 76. Um, if we're going to solve this equation. We're going to subtract both sides by 16. So 12x is equal to 60. And then we're uh, going to divide both sides by 12. Divide by 12. So x is 5. Um, if the question actually looked uh, was asking you for the side length, right, you can actually replace this uh, x with 5. So that would be 3 times 5, 15 plus 4 would be 19. Okay. All right, let's try another question. Uh, this one's a doozy. So the given trapezoid has a perimeter of 58 centimeters. Calculate the length of each side. So again, in order to know what each side is, you've got to know what x is. So model this situation with an equation, solve the equation, and then figure out what each side is. All right, so pause the video. This, this question's epic. So Take your time and pause the video and uh, press play when you're ready to check your answer. Okay, good luck. All right, uh, hopefully there's enough space on this to solve this problem. So we want to model this situation. So we got to add up all four sides and make it equal to 58. So let's, let's just start at the top. So 2 times the quantity of x minus 2 plus x plus 6 plus 5 times x plus 1 plus, in brackets, x plus 6. And that's all equal to 58. Whew. All right. Um, let's get rid of the brackets. So let's distribute. So 2x minus 4 plus x plus 6 plus 5x plus 5 plus x plus 6 is 58. All right, let's um, sort out the terms, or actually, let's let's take a shortcut here. Let's just add them up. So 2x plus x, that's 3x, plus 5x is 8x, plus another x is 9x. Okay. Again, you can sort it out, sort out the like terms if you wish. Um, but let's just do this in our head. So negative 4 plus 6 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 6 is 13. And that's equal to 58. All right. Now we're going to solve this equation. So we're going to subtract 13 on both sides. So 9x is 45. And to get x on its own, we're going to divide both sides by 9. So um, x here is equal to 49 divided by, sorry, 45 divided by 9, which is 5. All right, so now that we know what x is, we can actually figure out what each side is. Okay, so um, let's just start with x plus 6, which is the same thing on 
both sides of the trapezoid. So x plus 6 is the same thing as 5 plus 6, which is 11. Okay, so centimeters, that's one side. Let's look at the uh, top. The top had 2 times x minus 2, so let's be careful here. So that becomes 5 minus 2. So that's 2 times 3, which is 6 centimeters. Let's look at the third side here. We have 5 times x plus 1. So that's the same thing as 5 times the quantity of 5 plus 1. So that's 5 times 6, which is really 30 centimeters. Okay, so we've got three sides, and then the fourth side is, again, uh, the same x plus 6, right? So that's 11 uh, centimeters. So we have four sides here. And again, we have to, this is the hardest part here in the beginning. You've got to model the situation, in this case perimeter, um, equaling uh, the total perimeter. Okay? So you add up four sides and make 58 here. All right, so just to wrap things up, to determine the value of a variable, you have to create and solve an equation. Okay, I can't stress that enough. You have to create an equation. Okay? Create an equation by modeling the situation with an equation. That's a little redundant. So again, look for the information okay? and uh, see if you can create an equation involving the variables. Okay? And sometimes it helps to use words first and then create an equation. So you might want to say, add up the sides, make it equal to the perimeter. Okay? So, but whatever you, whatever you do, you have to have an equation, okay? And then you have to solve it. So I hope that's uh, made things a little bit clear about solving measurement problems um, with algebra. So um, best of luck.